If you work online, either as a freelancer on Fiverr or Upwork, or you're an affiliate marketer on platforms like Flickbank, JVZoo, Warrior Plus, or you work with international clients from different parts of the world, a Pioneer account is something that you must have because Pioneer will allow you to create bank accounts in multiple currencies, including the US dollars, the euros, and the British pounds. That way, whenever you work for clients abroad and they need to send you money, you just need to send them your Pioneer account details. And when they send the funds to your Pioneer account, you can easily withdraw it directly to your Nera bank account where you can go ahead and spend it or do whatever you want to do with it. So to start creating your Pioneer account, click the first link in the description. If you use my link in the description, you are going to get a $50 bonus by the time you receive up to $1,000 with your Pioneer account. So go ahead and click the first link in the description and that will bring you over to this page. You can see get paid by companies and marketplaces worldwide and here I say sign up and earn $50. So I'm going to click on sign up. Now the sign up process is very simple and straight to the point. You just need to make sure that you're entering the right information where necessary. And the thing is, when creating your Pioneer account, you don't need to use a VPN, you don't need to use a fake address, a fake name, you don't need to do all of those stuff. You just need to make sure that you enter the correct information throughout all of these steps. So here you will enter your first name, your last name, email address, re enter the email address again, and then enter your date of birth. I will just fill in all of this information and then go ahead and click on next. For this step, you need to enter your contact details. For me, country is Nigeria. Then enter your street and number, something like number 5 Emmanuel Street. Then your city or town, enter your postal or zip code. If you don't Know what your zip code is just come over to google and search for the name of your location let's say lagos zip code google is going to show you the zip code of your location so just type in the name of your city and then zip code to google and google will show you what your zip code is then right here you need to enter your phone number as you can see you need to confirm your phone number with a verification code so make sure you're entering the correct phone number after entering your phone number just click on send code a verification code will be sent to you so i'm going to enter the code right here after that just go ahead and click on next here you are going to see your username which by default is the email address you entered but then you want to set a password for yourself we enter the password and then pick a security question and then go ahead and type in the answer to the question right here this will help you whenever you need to verify your account and all of those kind of stuff and then the final step is where you get to enter your id details select the id type you want to use you can use your national id driving license or passport i'm going to use national id then you want to enter the id number right here after all of that just click on next for the final stage, it says please add a bank account for withdrawals that belongs to you or your company. So basically, this is the primary account you use whenever you need to transfer money from your Pioneer account to your Nigerian bank account. So you want to select the bank country, which is Nigeria for me, currency, NGN. You can either select USD or Euros. Let's say if you have a DOM account, that's up to you. Then you want to enter the bank name. I'm going to enter the name of the bank account to use for this. Then the account holder name. The account account holder name must match the name you entered when setting up your Pioneer account. So I'm going to enter the account number right here. And with that in place, I'm going to check agree to the terms and conditions. And then I agree to the pricing and fees. And then just go ahead and click on submit. So here it says, congratulations, your Pioneer account application has been submitted successfully and will now be reviewed. You receive an email confirmation within the next several business days once your application has been reviewed. The review process will not take too long. As a matter of fact, most of the times it happens immediately just click on my account so i'll be able to log into your new account and then you need to enter your email address and your password that's email address you entered when setting up your account and the password and then you can go ahead and sign in to help with the security of your account make sure you turn on two-step verification and then i'm going to enter the code that will be sent to me and then click on submit it says copy and save the following recovery code to a safe place just in case you misplace your two-step verification method you'll be able to use this code and all of that i'm going to click on ok the first thing we can see here is update your security settings i'm going to click on update now and the way this works basically is you select a security question enter the answer and then just repeat the same process the second and the third time after doing all of this just click on change again you need to go through two-step verification to complete this step and then click on submit and then i'm going to click on done you are all set up i'll click on let's go 
so basically this is what your pioneer dashboard is going to look like and for a start you have three currency options us dollars euros and british pounds as you continue to use your pioneer account to receive payment you'll be able to request for accounts in other currencies as well to see your account details for any of these currencies let's say you need to receive payment in usd from a company you just need to click on these three dots and then click on receiving account and you should be able to get your usd account details that will look like this so let's say you need to fill it somewhere here's your bank name your routing number your account number your account type the bank address and the beneficiary so you just need to fill this properly where you want to receive payments from but sometimes after creating your pioneer account if you click on receiving accounts so that you can get to see your account details it's going to show you that you need to earn another 50 us dollars before you can get your first receiving account this is one issue that has become very common when you try to create a new pioneer account now if this happens to you you try to get your account details and it's asking for you to receive $50 to your Pioneer account before you can get receiving account. In this case, what you need to do is to link your Pioneer account to a platform that integrates directly with Pioneer. For instance, Fiverr or Pork, these platforms will connect directly to Pioneer so that the money you earn on these platforms can be sent to your Pioneer account. So by the time you receive up to $50 US from any of these platforms, you'll be eligible to request for the account details with all the information you need so if you're a freelancer or you're an affiliate marketer if the platform you are making money from can directly connect to pioneer that's what you need to do to meet this requirement but if the platform or the business you are working with does not connect directly to pioneer that means you need the full account details to be able to receive your money so what i recommend you do in that case is to look for an alternative and you can use a platform like gigpay with gigpay you can create a USD account that you can use without any issues. My video on how to create a GeekPay account and get your USD account details will be in the description. You can just watch that video and set your account up. But if you are lucky and use a platform like Fiverr or Pork, let me show you how to connect these platforms directly to your Pioneer account so that by the time you earn up to $50 on this platform, it will be sent directly to your Pioneer account and that will help you fulfill this requirement. So if you come over to Business Network and then click on Companies you work with this is where you can get to connect with marketplaces networks or business platforms that can integrate with pioneer and if you click on learn how it's going to bring you to this guide basically on how to link pioneer to upwork and that's very simple right now let me show you a practical example using fiverr so here on fiverr i'm going to click on add payout method then say verify that it's you just get this done then click on add payout method now you can see that fiverr has three options paypal pioneer account or bank transfer so you just want to select pioneer since we don't have the account details to use the bank transfer option with this pioneer method you don't need the account details to receive your money so select the currency use us dollars and then click continue it says you're almost here finish your registration by clicking on the link in your inbox so here's the email thanks for adding the pioneer account for your fiverr withdrawals this means and all of that i'll click continue now it's going to require you to create a new pioneer account but since we already have a pioneer account i'm going to click here where it says already have a pioneer account click here so just click it and then you need to log into your pioneer account and with that you've added a new funding source to your pioneer account now if i come back to companies you work with you are going to see that i now have fiverr linked to my pioneer account without using the account details with this setup i just need to earn 50 dollars from fiverr and when it is sent to my pioneer account i'll be able to get the receiving account details and that is all you need to know about creating a pioneer account from nigeria in 2023 and that's basically it guys i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions or have any issues when creating your your account let me know in the comment section i'll be there answering your questions and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one